Paulo Banchero, I'm not sure if this went over anybody's heads, but he clearly took a deal with Jordan Brand. He is the newest signee, a major acquisition by Michael Jordan. You know, in Jordan Brand, he, he joined Zion Williamson and Luka Doncic. You understand at Jordan Brand, and this is huge, you know, for a young player, the, the number one overall pick. You understand, coming out of Duke, we all know the talent is there. You know, with this kid, this man played uh, a little bit of nothing in the summer league, and they told him, "Listen, just chill out. You, we don't need to see no more. You the real deal." This man was uh, at the crossover, you know, uh, doing big things that we're gonna get into. I am very high on this kid, Paolo. If you are an Orlando Magic fan, you got one. This is the guy that makes everything work. You understand out there in Orlando. Y'all right now, y'all got a lot of pieces that just don't really feel like well, they don't feel with no connection. You know, it do. Where, how does it? How does it fit? How does this? How do they play together? This guy Apollo makes everything. He equalizes it all. You know, he fits with all of the guards. Y'all got fits. Uh, fits with the centers. This team is gonna be loaded, and the sky's the limit. When we're thinking about the future teams, you know, Orlando will be one of those future teams if they play their cards right because the collection of young assets that they have, they just have to build. But they got one. They got a centerpiece in Paolo. I think this is going to be their, their face of the franchise kind of player, you know, for the foreseeable future. You know, and Michael Jordan, I'm telling you, I mean, if Michael Jordan could draft some of these people, I mean, he'd be the man. But the way he's scouting talent for Jordan Brand, I wish he, we could get some draftees like this out there in Charlotte. You know, uh, obviously they got LaMelo Ball in Charlotte. That, that, I mean, that fell out the sky to him. But, um, you know, they need to get guys like this. But let's, in all seriousness, you know, uh, this, was, this could have been a shocker viewed as a shocker for a few. You know, for him signing with Jordan Brand, I think this is huge. Um, obviously, uh, with Jordan Brand is a, is just a huge, huge situation. This is Michael Jordan, the retro, as we know, the greatest player in the history of the game. You know, uh, there's a lot of major sneaker companies on the prowess, you know, that I'm pretty sure, you know, was a huge bidding war for this guy, Paolo, especially when you talk about some of these top picks. I mean, they know what's at stake. You know, uh, do I think that Paolo's going to get a signature shoe? Absolutely. I'm not sure if it's going to happen right away. I think these guys had to do something. I don't know, because uh, Zion didn't make the postseason. But I know that, I believe, after Luca, I forgot what it was. It was some kind of, I forgot what it was, it, it was criteria for them to get a signature shoe. I don't know if that was for another player or not. But um, I may be mistaken for another player's shoe deal. But, um bottom line is zion has a shoe the z1 you see luca's shoe rolling out about to come on out you know i think luca's gonna make an impact you know overseas because of the slovenia connection you already know so um luca Doncic, man is just gonna be a sneaker selling machine i'm just remember i told this y'all this remember i re i said this when it happens this dude luca Doncic is gonna set the world on fire with his sneakers i just remember i said that now let's get back to uh so if you if you uh Paolo, you looking into that. You know, when you look at uh these signature athletes, of course everybody looks at Nike. Everybody looks at what else? To a uh to a lesser degree, what you want to say, Adidas, you know, um, as you can see, Puma is making a resurgence, you know, uh with this like Puma literally just got popping with the basketball sneakers like as of recently. You know, over a few years ago, this is recent years ago, they wasn't really coming out with these with the basketball sneakers pushing that. You know, and they signed various, you know, um, first round picks. You know, future, you know, uh, superstars. You know, you see what's going on with Lamelo Ball. R.J. Barrett is signed there. He doesn't have a signature yet, but uh, Lamelo has a signature, and Lamelo is like the face of Puma hoops and Puma, whatever the hell you want to call it. You know, uh, especially or that basketball division or whatever. I would have pulled my hoops. So, I mean, it's just like, it's crazy. So, I can only imagine, you know, when you think of these other, these other, like, Paolo, or what kind of impact that he could have. Could he do an impact that LaMelo has? Who knows? Because you got to understand something. LaMelo Ball was an international superstar. You know, uh, LaMelo Ball has experience already. He sold sneakers when he was in high school. So now you he with Puma and this major machine and you think that things that you ain't gonna see magic happening and it's happening. You know, so um, the sky's the limit. You know, if you Paolo, you just gotta perform on the floor at the end of the day. Get Orlando back to the promised land. You know, get them back to being respectable because right now Orlando is viewed by mostly as a joke. 
you know, uh, they need to change the culture there, and this guy changes it. Um, if you look at Nike, you know, they got just about everybody over there. They giving lifetime deals and shit. You see what they did when they gave to LeBron, you know, um, what's going on with, who else, KD is out there, Kyrie, you know, there's a situation going on with Kyrie. See, people not even monitoring the Kyrie situation. You know, Kyrie, I think, is done with Nike after this one. I'm not 100% sure somebody could double check with me. But Kyrie might be free with the endorsement. But I think Kyrie about to have one of those seasons this year. Remember, I want to tell you, I know I'm going off track. Kyrie is in a contract year. And I'm telling you, I, would, I expect Kyrie to go to just play completely out of his mind this season. You know, and get that money. You know, so it, it, it's wild. Uh, this is gonna be it's gonna be a spectacular year, you know. Um, but nonetheless, man, this is it's crazy um, with the situation with Paolo going to Jordan. You know, I, I think this is good good for the youth. You know, Jordan Brand is back. You know, it ain't never went nowhere. But it's really when you making these key acquisitions. When you got the number one pick in Zion, number one pick in Paolo. Obviously, people thought that Luca should have went number one, but the only reason why he didn't go is because of the international curse, the international player curse, where people feel like they're going to get duped, uh, selecting a guy so high. Like, Luca was the exception, you know, but it is what it is. I want y'all to know, well, I want y'all to let me know, what do you guys expect from Paolo Ventura at Jordan Brand? You know, um, how do you think that's going to affect his career, his notoriety? You know, as you can see, he's at the crossover playing with some elite talent. You know, LeBron James, it was Chet Holgren in there. It was, he obviously got into something with DeJounte Murray. That's going to be an interesting battle all year. Even though I don't believe there's any true beef there, but the NBA, they, they need to sell, sell a rivalry. But they, they obviously look like they, they are there. That shit is not even a serious factor to them. You know, um, and like I said, they, they're right there. Orlando, Atlanta, that, that's right down the block. So they're going to be playing each other a lot. We're going to see that matchup, you know, and it's going to be interesting to see because DeJounte, he might be better than Paolo right now, you know, but who, who's to say that Paolo won't be better than him in a year or two, you know? So like I said, Paolo, obviously his upside is tremendous. You know, DeJounte, I think he, he, he's not capped out, but I think he's, he's obviously closer to a finished product than whatever Paolo is going to be. So it's going to be interesting to see that matchup, man. But uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Michael Jordan out here making some key pickups, man, key. You know, uh, coming after some bright young talent, you know, uh, putting Jordan Brand at the forefront, you know, uh, where it needs to be because you got to understand something. The retros is retarded. You know, one thing Michael Jordan got to do is try to get that. I mean, that's one thing about Jordan Brand. His Jordan's retro sneakers are so, so dominant. You know, it almost puts the team Jordans and the Jordan Brand shoes to the back burner. You know, like Russell Westbrook had a shoe. It was nice. Nobody cared. You know, when the new 11s coming out, when the new fives come, that's, a, that's the thing about Jordan Brand. So it's like the other Jordans take a back seat. So that's just the only thing. But I think with Jordan getting this collection of star power, it changes everything. It's Flight Sports TV, Paolo Banchero, Jordan Brand Athlete. Orlando is going to be a team to look out for. It's Flight Sports.